Hello and welcome to a new HiKed short clip. In this video, I will introduce you to the new panel design variant. Starting with Service Pack 2 for HiKed 2025, the new panel variant is available in the civil engineering functions. The panel variant is available in two types, sheet metal panel and glass panel. Both types offer numerous components and configuration options for insulation, thermal brake, etc. Enabling flexible design of the construction elements. If the panel is created using a sketch, as in our example, the following must be taken into account. In order to make the positioning even clearer, I will first create a detail view. The sketch must be positioned exactly on the upper seal of the profile. In our case, we are using the Shuko FWS50 profile series. It is equally important that the processing plane is defined correctly so that the sketch elements are positioned precisely on the desired part. This exact positioning is crucial, as the entire further construction of the panel including all layers, is based on this reference line. I'm using HCM constraints to make sure the sketch is positioned correctly. The coincidence constraint lets me place the sketch edges precisely on the profile contour as the panel's edge. Now I will start the panel dialog. There are basically two types of panels sheet metal panels and glass panels. The two variants can be designed as either flat or cranked panels. You can decide at this point whether to use a sheet metal or glass panel. The semi-finished products can be selected directly and precisely from the high CAD catalogs. Regardless of whether you are working with glass or sheet metal panels, the required semi-finished product data can be conveniently transferred from the catalogs in the dialog. The next step is to select the sketch that was created earlier. In the Geometry tab, you can then define the geometrical parameters of the panel. In addition to the basic geometry, corner processings and bend zone parameters can also be defined individually. Another key point is defining the building materials for the panel. Here you can specify the options for insulation, thermal break, and the corresponding coating data. Suitable semi-finished product data from various manufacturers is available for all these elements in the HiCAD catalogs. In addition, fixings, such as screws, whether internal, external, or on both sides, can be precisely transferred from the catalogs in the same manner. This allows the panel to be accurately adapted to the requirements of your project in terms of building materials and design. The panel can then be created in the next step. In the sectional view, or, as in this case, via a detail view, which, incidentally, can be created very quickly and transparently, we can clearly see the structure of the panel. Here, in hidden line mode, you can see that all hatchings of the building materials are defined correctly. As with all 3D objects in HiCAD, the panel can also be processed or adapted at any time using the feature log. In our example, I will now adjust the geometrical parameters for the thermal break and insulation. The preview button allows us to see how the panel is automatically updated. Finally, I will change the execution type to flat and adjust the settings accordingly. The panel is now modified as desired and implemented directly in the model. 
As mentioned at the beginning, the panel can also be created in the space between the profiles. The prerequisite for this is that the profiles have corresponding profile glass points. The necessary adjustments are now made in the dialog. In this case, we select the cranked execution type. The profiles must then be selected in the specified order so that the panel can be created correctly between the profiles. The usual settings are then defined, and the panel is automatically created in the area between the profiles. A panel created in this manner can, of course, be duplicated at any time using the copy function provided for this purpose. The corresponding target profiles must be reselect in each case. And here, once again in the detail view, we can see very clearly the structure of the panel, this time in the cranked version. This was a brief overview of how to use the panel in Facade Engineering with Service Pack 2 for HiCAD 2025. Thank you very much for your attention, and see you soon.